Hello class. In previous video, I talked about the modeling of prompts for game. In this video, we'll move on to Unity 3D and we'll start to construct our first game. After you created your assets model, make sure the texture is on. And then you'll select the model and go to export select. And then you can put your name here. Make sure the file type set as FBX export. Export selection. If you don't see the option for exporting FBX file, just go to Windows and setting preferences, plugin manager, and here search FBX. And make sure the FBX plugin is checked on. Okay, and refresh, and it should show up. Okay, so after you export the file, make sure you also um, back up the texture of the model. And we'll move on to the next step. This is Unity 3D. When you open the program, we'll go to New and create a new project. And you'll define a location and give it a name, project name. So here I'll say Intro to Unity. And make sure template is a 3D and then do create project. Okay, so this is the interface of Unity 3D. You can see that in this the scene is empty and we have a camera and simple light here. Um, basically the shortcut is the same as Maya. You, know, you can hold down the option key and with your mouse nav key, you can rotate around. With your mouse middle button, option key, you can pin around. And option key and mouse right key, you can zoom in, zoom out. Okay, and you can also select an object and press F key to knock your view on that object. Here's the file hierarchy, same as the all manner in Maya. Um, as you can see, we only have the camera and a direction light in the scene. Okay, so the first thing we'll need to do is we all have to import our model to here. So as I have created the Unity project, and by default, it created this file hierarchy. Um, right now, it only has a scene folder, same as here, assets and scene folder. So what we'll need to do is here, we'll create a new project folder. And we'll rename it as model. And as you create it, you'll see that in Unity, it automatically updated. So it is synced. You can create a folder in Finder, or you can go directly create a folder here. See, I select the assets, create new and a new folder. And this time I'll name, say, textures. Okay, and now if I switch to Finder, it updated here as well. Okay, so after you created the folders, what do you need to do is, you know, you will copy all of the FBX file into the models folder and the texture files in the texture folder. I'll copy all of the FBX file and I'll go back to here and models and paste. So now I'll copy all of the textures and copy it here. Copy your FBX file, the models, and the texture files in one time, okay? And then switch back to Unity 3D. And you will update. We should see all of the models with the textures should be imported here. Also, the textures have been linked to your model, okay? So for example, this is the model we have created earlier, right? So now if I bring this model into my stage here, so now you can see that the texture is already on, right? So we don't have to manually uh, link the texture with the model. Okay, so now let me show you a different way. So for the second group model, if I bring the model here, see if I copy the model and paste it to my Unity Assets folder, and then before I copy the texture to here, if I switch the back to Unity, so now the model have updated here, right? And then if I go back to my folders and copy the texture and go back to Unity Assets folder and paste the texture here. So now if I go back to Unity 3D. So now the model and the texture are all updated. However, if I bring my model back to Unity 3D, so what gonna happen is you will lose the connection between your model and the texture because you imported your model first. 
and switch it back to Unity 3D. So the Unity 3D thought, okay, you only have the model and the texture is not there. So it automatically created this uh, white solid material for the model. And then you will have to manually link them together. For example, this is uh, container 3. And here's a container 3 uh, texture. So you will have to manually do create and create a material. And you will see container uh, 3. Okay, so this is the material. And you'll have to get a uh, texture for it. Container 3 diffuse. Okay, and then you have to drop this material onto your model in order to, in order to net the material to show it up. And remember here we also have a normal map. So you'll go back to the material and go to this normal map here, click on this button, and then here container 3 normal map, apply. Okay, right now, as you can see, when you bring the normal map onto your material by default, um, it doesn't read the normal map correctly, so you have to click on fix. And once you fix it, now you should show the lighting, uh, the bump correctly. Okay, so this just to show you the correct way to import the model again. Uh, when you import in the file, make sure uh, you copy the models and the textures in one time before you switch back to Unity 3D. So you don't have to invest the time to manually link the model and texture together. Now let's construct our first stage of the game. So let me move the container to one side and I'll select both of the objects and hide them. Uh, to hide an object, go to the inspector. Basically the inspector is the property of the object. Okay, same as the channel box in Maya. Okay, and on the top of it, you will see this uh, checker. Okay, so by check it off, you will disable the object. Check it on, you will show it. Okay, we'll select the container and check it off as well. In the model, I should have a let me see, metal floor. It's basically just the plan um, with four vertices. Okay, and it has the texture here, floor diffuse. Okay, this is how it looks. And I'll copy the name, right click, and create create a new material and name it. Okay, and for the material, metal floor diffuse map, apply it, and go to its normal map channel, and get its normal map. Okay, and by default, texture has some issues, so we'll fix. Here we go. So we can apply the texture onto the floor. So here we get one tile of the metal floor. What we'll do is we'll duplicate this tile and uh, we'll align them together. To duplicate the object, just hit Command key and DK. So now you can see that we made a duplication and we can move it on the side. We want to align them perfectly together, basically snap them. What we'll do is, with the move tool selected, hold down the V key and then put your cursor on the points you would like to snap. And then drag this point to the other object you would like to snap. Here we go. So now they should snap together. So now I can select both of them and hit Command D and move them. And then I can hold down the V key and put my cursor on this corner and bring both of them to here. So now I get four of them. Repeat this process and we'll make a floor. All right, so now I made a floor with those tiles and I can select the back and the container and enable them. Here it is. Now let's add a player into the game. So I'll go to the tall menu, assets, import package, and characters. Make sure everything's checked on and import. And it'll ask to update the API. So make sure you, know, you have a backup of your project and then see made the backup, go ahead. Once it is done, you'll find this is standard assets and in there you should have characters. And we'll go to first person character and go to the prefabs. We'll use the FPS controller, which is a first person controller. Okay, and bring it into the scene. 
Here it is. And make sure the castle is above the ground. Okay, so now if you click on play and play the game, uh, your preview from this camera, the player's camera. Okay, let me test the game. So click on play. All right, so now we're in the player's view, but as you can see, we are falling down. Okay, so to exit the game, hit ESC, and then click on the play button to go back here. So the reason why it is fall is because for the player, uh, by default, it has the rig body, and the rig body give gravity for it. So it has a gravity, right? However, the floor is just the model, okay? But it don't have any physics. So in reality, we can stand on the ground because you know the floor can support us. It has a physics. But in Unity 3D, you have to tell the program that you want to apply physics to the ground. So the floor can hold your player. To apply physics to the floor, we'll have to select all of them. Okay, so select from the first one, and hold on shift, and select the last one. So now we select all of them. Okay, and go to the inspector, and go to add component. Click on that. Here we'll search for mesh collider. Or you can just go add component. Physics. Okay, just under physics, mesh collider. So once you applied the mesh collider to it, if I play the game again, now our character should stand on the ground. Alright? So now we can walk around and check our object. We can use WASD, you know, those four keys to control forward, backward, and left, right. So now you can see that I can go through um, the barrel and the back is because we have applied physics to the ground but not for the container. So we can exit the game and select the container and also apply a mesh collider. Same thing for the back. Add a component, mesh collider. And if I play again, so now I will not be able to go through the container. As you can see, if I get very close to the container, the, uh, the left corner, right, I can see through the container. Remember in Maya, we had a similar issue before, and we'll just have to change the camera setting. So here we can do the same thing. So just to go to the first person character, okay, and under the camera here. So at the clipping plan, just reduce this number, a near number. So right now, if the object is closer than 0.3 unit, okay, we can see through it. So if we reduce it to like 0.05, okay, now I will not be able to see through it, right? Okay, so with this whole workflow, you can add all of your other models into the scene and construct the first level of the game.